All right, how we doing, folks? Your bull, Marcos, 22, your five numbers after the name. A little tight Tuesday action right here, man. And this actually isn't... I'll, I'll speak about the class that I'm using here and why I'm using it, but this actually isn't the class I use anymore uh, when it comes to submachine guns. I, uh, I'm currently rolling with now uh, the MP5. Actually, I actually have two submachine guns I'm playing around with right now, and I'm not 100% sure which one I'm going to stick to, but I got the MP5 uh, with a suppressor uh, and Ghost. And I really only use the MP5 on bacon. I very rarely bring it to other maps. I, I haven't really considered what other map I could. I, I play a lot of long lines of sight. And even here, I do end up playing some long lines of sight, as you'll see in this game. Uh, down early, though. We're down uh, 310 or 410 over here. I really like coming in uh, on this spawn. Uh, I prefer initially spawning on this side because I feel I have more options as to where I go. Anytime I spawn on the other side, I really haven't figured out where to go yet. Uh, anytime I try to book it to the middle, they're already like here, like just sniping ready to get you. And you're like, damn, like what the hell? They all set up and whatnot. You can watch me pull a snipe. I think you'll see in these videos uh, in the upcoming weeks over here for Modern Warfare, you're just going to see me miss snipers left and right, left and right. I was never good at them back in the day. Still not really good at him. Um, so this side I prefer coming on to. Once I break through that middle, I like attacking this side. Uh, but uh, which I guess is the ooh, it's the C side, I think. Uh, I can't really remember right now. I haven't played Dom here in a minute. Uh, I've really only been playing TDM since the remasters came out. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I want to get the kill confirmed at some point, but I haven't really. So I managed to pop over there, MP5 with the red dot, just because I was trying to get an attachment and just play around with it and see. Um, how it felt, but like I said, right now I'm currently using the uh, the MP5 with the suppressor, and I'm also using the AK-47UI. Just don't like that bad boy. It gives me a little bit more distance, which I really like, right? Like with the MP5, I'm I'm not good enough to shoot from far away, and I, I keep trying to get into engagements far away, which I shouldn't. Uh, but sometimes you'll see somebody and be like, oh, I can pluck that guy off right there. Um, I kind of want to come back and play vacant also with my M4 now that I got a little bit better with it Just to see w how that changes the game, you know what I'm saying? But ultimately, I like my marathon, I like my three flashes over here I like, uh, which I think I'll probably end up changing once I could get Bandolier with the three uh, I think it's Bandolier, Bandolier, Bandolier might be a World of War thing uh, Either way though, uh, thoroughly enjoying this, get that knife though Really appreciate that near death kill, let's go Challenges are really good, man, because you have to, like, unlock them as you go. You can't just, like, like, I can't unlock every challenge now. I have to level up before I unlock the challenges. So sometimes I'll get some stuff, like, get a kill while prone. And I'm like, what? Like, I've been doing that. Like, what the hell? Like, yeah, that's, that's, you kind of have to go prone sometimes. Uh, so like I said, I like attacking, I like rushing into against this side. But when given the choice, especially in the initial spawn, uh, I like being on that side more than, than rushing into it. Uh, Especially on the initial spawn. The initial spawn is really where I have the most issue with vacant. And sometimes I feel like in this game, you, that initial spawn could like dictate how the whole match goes. You know, I've had games where, and I actually just I was just playing uh, vacant right now uh, before I started recording this video, and I had a game where we lost by like 20, and we literally we were down the whole 15 to like three at the beginning. We never came back out of it. We we rushed from A to C. And we just got popped by a bunch of snipers that were waiting for us. And we, I couldn't... I, I ended up figuring my way around them after a certain point, And I ended up, I think, uh, going two or three above even. Uh, nothing crazy, but, you know, I, I was, like, deep in the hole. This is a game where I'm, I, I'm telling you, we probably started two and ten. You know what I'm saying? I ended up going, like, 18 and 16 and something like nonsense like that, you know. Kind of did that flip. And it's this whole little middle side right here that gives me a lot of worry. And... I'm using the UAV right now, even though in this, in this footage right here I'm using the Juggernaut, but I'm using the UAV currently with the Suppressor, or the, or the Ghost part of me with the Suppressor, because I just want to stay off radars. I, I just want to stay off radars and see if I can kind of wrap my way around and with Marathon run away around. I have no problem in going all the way around to get behind people and get the flank on them. The only problem, though, with the Suppressor on the MP5 is that it, it reduces your range even less uh, to the point where it's not really conducive sometimes to get into any gunfight. It's not really right in front of your face. So when I try to wrap around on one of the sides of one of the flanks, I'm kind of exposed as I kind of can't shoot all those people around there. Uh, this little warehouse building right here is another one interesting one over here. I don't mind playing that warehouse with the MP5. It's not ideal. Oftentimes there's snipers over there, but if you can manage to lay down a flash somewhere in there and just stun somebody for real quick, I kind of go up and down, up and down around the damn barrels over there, and that's kind of how I end up playing it for the better part of it. Airstrikes, I wish I had any tip for these guys on airstrikes. I need the tips on airstrikes. I swear I've probably gotten like two kills in like a week with airstrikes. Can't do it. Don't know if they, don't know how much of a delay they are, honestly. Don't know if the delay is applicable to when I actually like put down the, um, when I put down the marker and then they just come later. 
or if the marker is just not accurate. I haven't figured it out yet, but either way, I just kind of suck at it over here. And this kind of to me is a no-no right there, sticking your head out, you just ask for trouble, but sometimes you'll get a guy wrapping around like that to the back, you're like, okay, cool. I let him ride over here. Switching the pistol is key in this game, man. I've never used to do this in back of Call of Duty. Never, 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 never. You'll see me at Black Ops. No clue. And still in this game, I'll oftentimes pick up another weapon. Especially when I'm playing a map like this, what I'll do is I'll try to pick up an assault rifle. Unfortunately, oftentimes I'll just run into sniper rifles. Um, but I try to pick up the assault rifle. And I try to put some work in with it. Uh, and I'll have that as kind of my backup. I'll keep flipping and flopping on Overgrown, which I think maybe I'll put some footage up on that tomorrow. What I, what I end up doing on that about that, because you do run into a lot of assault rifles, is I have two M4s. And I'll just keep switching through them. Instead of reloading, I'll just keep switching through my M4s. I'm like, hey, man, whatever you want. Woo! That is what you call a close victory. And I was trying to figure out a way to blow it at the end. I don't really appreciate that. Vacant, up and down, wild, wild gameplay. This is kind of how it always is. Quick, fast, frenetic, murder, game all over the place. Glad that that guy didn't land that hit over there. Your boy Marcos, tight Tuesday, deuces.